Lace up the running shoes, stretch out your legs, and get ready to run for a worthy cause. Ronald McDonald House Charities of New Mexico is proud to announce the second annual Rock Your Socks virtual 5K is back. We're joined this morning by CEO Jessica Wright to find out everything you need to know to take part in this great fundraiser. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Super excited about this event, um, for one, because it's great weather, right? I know uh, we've yeah. been dealing with a lot of rain, but during this event, I'm hoping they're going to have great weather. Um, tell us about Rock Your Socks Virtual 5K. Well, one of the best things is it's a week-long event, so somewhere you're going to find good weather in mm -hmm. there, right? Um, this is our second year of doing a virtual 5K, asking folks to get out there and support us. Whatever works for them. You want to run, you want to bike, you want to hike, you want to swim. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, just do it for a good cost. So, so how does this work? Um, do we have to register? How much do we have to pay? And where does all that money go? Yeah, so it's very simple. Go to our website to register. It's a $10 registration fee, $20 if you want to get the great socks to rock your socks I that I'm modeling here for you. Yes. Um, you can set up a team if you'd like. You can become a fundraiser yourself. You can make additional donations, anything like that that works best for you. Okay. And all of that is going to go back to support our families that are staying with us while their child it's being treated at a local hospital. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about this before. If you've not had to utilize the services from Ronald McDonald House Charities, count yourself lucky and your blessings because yep. uh, these are families whose children are ill. Exactly. And they're kind of thrown in the situation that they did not expect to be in. Exactly. These are families whose kids are ill or injured. They're at the hospital. Nobody wants to be in that situation. And so what we do is we provide them a place to stay. We try and give them comfort and food and laundry and everything else so that they can give all their energy in helping their kid get better. How many kids or how many families, I should say, do you guys typically help out per year? Well, it had been almost 1,100, but we've just opened our second property, which is going to give us the capacity for another almost 650 families. Wow. Yeah. That is remarkable. It's amazing. Um, and obviously it's needed. Yes. The Southern facility. Uh, is unfortunately, it is needed. I mean, I, I wish it wasn't, but we do regularly turn families away because we don't have the space for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And so we will always have that need, I believe. And here's the thing is, I, I know we have a lot of families that are watching um, and, and just imagine putting yourself in that situation where uh, one of your children are so ill that you have to come to the hospital and you right. don't want to leave them, but you can't stay in their room. So what is your next best option? Oftentimes the hotel, which costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things is we try and relieve that financial burden for folks. So if they have that peace of mind that they have somewhere to be, they're as close as they can possibly be, and they're not having all those extra expenses and all the stress that accompanies that because they're already in a very stressful situation. Absolutely. And it takes yeah. a lot of money to make sure that all these families are able to yes, be helped does. out. So that's where this fundraiser comes in. What is your fundraising goal? So our goal is $10,000. Um, which we are knocking on the door of it. We're hoping all of the viewers can help us get to that. Plus get out and like you said, enjoy the weather, know they're doing something for a good cause, mm -hmm. take some fun mm -hmm. photos, spread the word about all of it. You guys have a presenting sponsor with us? We do, we have a couple. So our presenting sponsor is Enterprise, Enterprise Bank and Trust. They've been a great supporter of us. Our SOC sponsor is uh, Grotto de Villa Construction, is a local company. And then our leaderboard sponsor is uh, Two Men in a Truck who are always there to help us out throughout the year. Perfect, okay, yeah. so I know people at home are, are wanting to know how can yep. they find more details go to our website rmhc-nm.org you'll see a great picture of socks there it'll tell you everything you know to sign up and support us i mean what a fun way to help out right it then is. you get great socks you do they come in handy all the time i love it jessica <laughs> once again thanks so much for joining us this morning thank